Hey guys, so I'm going to try a new thing where I kind of do like a monthly pet supply haul. Um, I buy a lot of things that don't really fit into like a pet haul category, but I do buy them for my pets. So I saw um, Alyssa and Pets do this. Uh, Alyssa Nicole is her main channel, but she said she got this idea from someone else. I don't remember where she got the idea from, but anyways, I thought it was a good idea. So I thought we would do like a bonus video um, on the first of every month of like pet stuff we'll see if this is something i like to do but i buy it anyway so why not you know why not share it um so i've accumulated some stuff from this month so far because it's like the 10th already so i'm just going to show you what i bought so far and then if i buy anything else i'll show you that as well um but let's start from the stuff i got from etsy so first i made an order on strudels i really like strudels gecko bowls these ones are larger than the ones I've used before. Um, I thought this might be good to have, cause I don't like filling the bowl up a lot. I like having like a larger server so I can see what they've ate. Um, and then I also got one of these little ledges from them in this super beautiful color. Um, and I haven't tried this out yet, but these larger bowls fit in to here nicely. Um, I honestly, kind of thought these were the small ones when I ordered them. I wasn't paying attention, so I did order more stuff from Strudels or Strudies. I think it's Strudies actually. Um that I plan on it should be here soon, so I'll show you that stuff too. Um and then mainly just because these bowls don't fit in any of my ledges. So that's a little inconvenient, but I do like the idea of being able to see what they eat. And then I also got a four pack of their No Escape bug bowls. Um, I'm using one of them in Nightmares Enclosure right now and it's working pretty well. The one thing I did notice with such a dark color is it's really hard to see if there's like roaches inside. Um, I don't know if it's hard for the pets to see but it's hard for me to see personally to know if I know how much people's eating without like pulling the whole thing out but yeah these are pretty nice. I think they're all 3D printed honestly. Great price for what you're getting and I can always use more gecko bowls and no escape proof bowls. Um, so Strudy's, Strudels, Strudy's, I don't know, whatever it is. It's awesome. Um, and I'll leave them linked in the description. They also have some cool hides and stuff that I think I ordered one. So we'll see if that comes. Um, next I have the stuff I ordered from Daniela Clausen or Cutie Reptiles Halloween launch. Um, there's one bowl that is currently being used, um, that I don't have to show you, but I'll put a picture on the screen. Um, it's basically like a bearded dragon. It says boo bitch, it's super cute, little pumpkin hat, really cute. Um, and then the rest of the stuff I got, so I'm gonna save this for last actually. Um, I got a couple little gecko dishes. So I got this one with Billy from the Saw franchise and it says, do you wanna play a game on the side? Um, I also got this one that says you'll float too and it has little paper boats on there honestly when i got these i was like i can't use these for gecko food like they're too cute but of course i'm going to and then my absolute favorite halloween movie is trick or treat and she had some trick or treat stuff so i got this this is sam's little lollipop gecko bowl um and they're actually three different size bowls too so that's nice because i do have so many different size geckos and the thing i was most excited about is this sam um bowl it's bigger or plate i guess i don't know it's bigger than the other ones i have so this will be perfect for wednesday's salad um it says rules of halloween one wear a costume two hand out treats three never blow out the jack-o-lantern four always check your bugs it's so cute i literally i almost kept this for myself i'm not gonna lie but uh i bought it for them so i'm gonna use it for them but it is so beautiful always always so beautiful i love her work so much um I'll leave her linked in the description below as well, obviously. Um, next, I went through all of my ferrets laundry and decided what I wanted to donate to animal shelters because I thought it was too small for my ferrets. Um, also, what I wanted to throw away because it's just grungy. And I wanted to see how many hammocks I actually had because I didn't feel like I had that many hammocks that were big enough for multiple ferrets to sleep together. And that's really important. They like to cuddle. So I ordered a couple... Um, I love the brand on Chewy called Frisco, and they came out with these new bunk bed hammocks in a larger size. So this is plenty big enough for two or three ferrets to live in, or live in, to sleep on together. And it also has a really soft 
um, inside that they can cuddle into. Um, and also it has built-in clips, which is so important because it's really annoying when I have to find clips for my hammocks. It makes me not want to use them. I always prefer using the ones that have the built-in clips so I don't have to search for clips to attach it. Um, but this is really nice. It seems like pretty good quality. So we will see how it holds up. But so far I'm pretty pleased with that. I also got this green version. The green one um, is more of like a waterproof material, which I actually really like because it's going to be so easy to clean. Sometimes I feel like the fabric stuff gets their little hairs stuck in it and I can never get it out no matter how much I wash it and then it just looks gross. And I don't see that being an issue with this. Plus I love this color, obviously. Half the stuff I bought from Strudy's. Strudels? Strudy's. I don't know. Is this color. But... Um, it has the same soft fabric inside. Honestly, my ferrets tend to sleep on the top more. Um, Evie likes sleeping inside, but for the most part, my other ferrets like to sleep on top. So I thought this would be cute to have them all together. And again, it has the same little hooks. And like I said, that was from Chewy. Um, I did get a couple more that aren't here yet. This is the only hammock that I am pretty disappointed with. Online, it said it was 14 inches. And this is by KT. Um, which I don't know, maybe if we're going from like this side to this side, it's 14 inches, but it's just pretty small. Like, yeah, it'll be fine for one ferret if they want to sleep by themselves, I guess. Um, I do like the material. It's going to be easy to clean, but like I said, I'm not a huge fan of this hammock. Not so much that I'm going to return it. Like, I don't hate it that much, but I'm not a huge fan and I probably would not buy another one. So... And it's not all KT's hammocks. I do have some of their, their hammocks I like. If you want me to do a best hammock, ferret hammock video, um, I totally can because I think it's so important knowing like what size and what brand and what's worth the money and what's not. I have so many hammocks. Um, I can totally do that. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is the stuff I just got from Petco today. The biggest thing I don't have to show you is uh, I got a new bag of Aspen. I just get the Petco brand of Aspen. It's like $10.00. Um, small pet bedding I use for my mice. I always like to have that on hand just in case. Um, and then it was, if you buy $50, you get 20% off. And since I was like well, already buying stuff and I needed a couple more things, I ended up being close enough to 50 that it was worth it. So these are other things that I specifically was going after. These are small, slow feeder bowls. So my cats currently eat out of large, slow feeder bowls. Um, and one of my cats just has a problem gorging and then puking immediately. Kingsley. So I thought I would try these. Um, the ones they currently have are dog bowls and I feel like they can get their face in and she can still get huge mouthfuls of food. This I'm hoping I can spread it so it's only one layer of food, but we'll see. These were buy two get one free, which is an awesome deal. So it was only like $12 for all three of them instead of... 20 or whatever but I got three of those um, and I will put the dog ones uh, aside for a while if these work I will just donate the dog bowls to like the animal shelter but hopefully these work they are set up a little different and something's got to work she needs to stop puking and just so you know I have taken her to the vet for it and it, it's literally just because she eats too fast and I've tried so many things and she, I just don't know how to get her to eat slower um, the next thing I got are these Peter's Natural Apple Slice Treats. It's literally just dehydrated apples. I know I could probably get this cheaper at, like, the normal store. But I was, like, a dollar away, and these were, like, $1.78, so I thought I would try them. Um, I'll probably break it up into even smaller pieces just to give my mice, because um, I don't want them to have a ton of sugar. Same with the hamsters. I'll just cut it up into smaller pieces, because these are pretty large. I think they are designed for larger animals like rabbits and guinea pigs, but they will be perfectly safe for my small rodents and they will like those. Um, I also got this little two pack of, I think these are for dogs. There's a squeaker in it, but my ferrets love little toys to take and hide. There's stashes all over that every once in a while I'll take all the toys out. Um, so they have to refind them, but I thought these were cute. Um, and same thing. I was just, I was spending money for the sake of spending money to get a better deal. Next, I got these freeze dried ferret treats. These are the duck, these are the duck flavor. Um, they're not the best. However, the only ingredients are duck and duck liver. And then 
The third ingredient is something I don't know, but it's not very high on the list. Um, like I said, they're not awesome, but they are one of the better ferret treats I've found besides just like freeze dried trick chicken, which I do give them as well. Um, and they do really like these and it entices them to let me clip their nails. So anything I can do, um, extra special treats that they only get once a month or so is fine. And those of all the bandit treats are the best kind. Make sure you look at the ingredient list because there's some other bandit treats like banana and raisin or whatever. Those have a bunch of shit in it. You don't want to give your ferrets. And lastly, I just got a cork round because I can literally never have enough of these. Um, I do have a couple enclosures I am working on and I thought it would be fun to put a cork round in the background. So yeah, so that's everything I got right now. Like I said, I'm expecting a couple more packages and I will just film those as we come. And then I intend to upload this on November 1st, whichever day that is, I think maybe a Monday. Um, and if it goes well, I will just continue doing this and it will be the bonus video on the first so of the month. I have a couple more things here to show you. I went to Petco this morning to get crickets and they said it was going to take about an hour because um, they were unloading the truck still. So instead of driving all the way home, I decided to kill some time. So first I got this uh, KT hammock. It looks a lot bigger than that other one I got. Um... So I thought it'd be worth a try. Oh yeah, this is huge. This is ginormous. This is a really big hammock. It is nice and soft on the inside and then it is the waterproof material on the outside. Um, and it has its own little hooks here. This hammock is awesome. I think I pet matched uh, Price Match Petco's online store and this ended up only being like $16. So I think that's actually a really good deal for how big this hammock is. All of my ferrets can sleep in there together. So if you're gonna get one of the KT hammocks, get the fuzzy floor one, not the other one I showed. Next, I got these wholehearted squeezable purees. Um, since I had so much time, I decided to go through the ingredient list on all of the different puree things. And these ones looked the best. They had the least amount of ingredients. Um, and the only thing I wasn't sure about was tapioca starch but it didn't have any sort of like, some of the other ones had a lot of random ingredients and I also got this lick mat to go along with it. Um, so that would give my cat something to do as a fun little treat. I also picked up this um, Oxbow enriched cupcake little toy. Um, I thought my mice would have fun tearing this apart and using it as nesting material. It's pretty solid so they that'll keep them busy for a while to tear it apart. Um, I think I price matched this one as well, so it was only $5 instead of eight. I also got this Tiki's filet. It's literally just a little piece of salmon. I only got one, um, cause it's a pretty big chunk, so I thought I could rip it up, but literally the only ingredient is salmon. So it's literally just a piece of salmon. And I thought that would be fun to put on the lick mat too, like to mix in with the puree squeezy stuff. And the last thing I got was this little guy. Um, he's like a voodoo doll, I guess, with a cute little bow tie. My ferrets were like de dragging this around. Um, he's like fuzzy orange on the back and then kind of canvassy on the front. And he was 30% off, so I think he ended up only being 30% off of 14, which is about, what, like... 10-ish, a little more than 10, so that's pretty good. And my second package from Strudy's arrived. So I got a couple of the feeding ledges for the smaller size cups. Um, I have a couple of my baby geckos that are outgrowing the Critter Keeper a little bit. I'd like to move them into 10 gallons, um, which means I'd like to give them an arboreal feeding ledge to promote more natural behavior, because in the Critter Keeper, I mean, I guess I could put one of these in, but it would take up a lot of the area. Um, so I ordered these two so I can, um, upgrade two of my babies into 10 gallons. And then along, everything's packaged really well, by the way. Got 12 of the smaller cups. These are also good for the babies. Um, I like to use those little ones from Celestial Exotics. Or these, um, I got some rainbow ones. So I got four of the rainbow ones. I got four of the green color that I really like, and then I got four of this neutral beige 
um, color that has some like black flecks in it. I like all of those. The rainbow one doesn't match anything, but I thought it was kind of cute, so I got it. And then I also got another one of the feeding ledges for the larger um, cups. This is in a beautiful like red color. I can't remember what this is called. I think it was an ombre. Oh yeah, it is. You can see like the orange to red. Last thing I got is this super cute little bubble thing. I spent a little extra to get the one of the magnets instead of suction cups because I hate suction cups. Um, but one of my geckos, Omen, has a little hide like this that is suction cupped and keeps falling. So I thought he would appreciate... Oh, Omen doesn't have that. Onyx does. Um, so I thought he would appreciate one that doesn't keep falling. So I'm going to give this to him. I bought it specifically for him. So I hope he likes it. I think he will. Um, if not, I'm sure one of my other geckos will like it. But that's everything I have for now. So I will see you if I get anything else. Alrighty, we got the rest of our hammocks and I thought we would show them with the little fairies. Here's Gomi being all Gomi full. So beautiful. So the first one I got, which I think is going to be a huge hit, is this little pineapple cave bed, also by the brand Frisco. These are the rest of the ones from Chewy, by the way. Um, it has its own hangers, which you know I love, but I will set that there and see if anyone would like to go in, just like I thought. I also got the rest of the set from that blue and white line. Um, I kind of wish I had got the green, just because I like the material better. Not that this is bad, but I just like the waterproof material. And this is a really decent sized hammock. It's the same size as the bunk bed hammock, but just one layer, of course. I mean, it'll also be kind of cute to be able to put all matching hammocks in their enclosure because I've never done that before. Not that it really matters, but. I also got this cube hammock, which again, I think is gonna be a huge hit. This one has a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. Again, this is by that Frisco brand. They love cube hammocks. They have a couple, which I knew is why I knew they would love the little uh, pineapple one. Here, Weave. There's one for everyone. Except you, Harley. Sorry. <laughs> and then I got another one of these wear jumbo hang hammocks. I love that they're huge and also very inexpensive. Like, I can fit all my ferrets on this hammock. The only thing I don't like is it's very cheaply made. So... They wear out really quickly, but it's also very inexpensive and big. So I have got quite a few of these in the past. Um, they're always like a mystery what color you're gonna get because it's you can't pick, but I really like these. No, you can't go in the bag. And clearly everyone's very excited about the new hammocks. Here's Jonas doing Jonas things. What a good lady. Small, small, special lady. There you go. And the only one you haven't seen, Loki, my big boy. What a special little boy. He's so sleepy. He loves sleeping in hammocks, don't you? Don't you, sir? So those are the other hammocks I got. I got some wood that's baking in the oven right now, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, and some cork because I'm going to do an enclosure build. But I thought I'd show you the rest of the stuff I got because I always get suckered in to paying more to get free delivery. So I got these little fleece snuggle pocket liners. It comes with two of them. I thought these would be good for my ferrets. They look about the size of the small, like, platform on the Critter Nation. So I thought I'd try that, see if they like them. I also got this little guy. Um, he is really, really cute. I think he's supposed to be a sloth, like a, I don't know, devil sloth, but he's way bigger than I thought. So I'm very pleased with that. I also got this piece of wood that was on clearance. It's like Mopani driftwood. It's absolutely huge. I cannot wait to use that. I'm gonna have to um, soak it a little bit just to make sure it's all clean because that's not going to fit in my oven just like my one other big piece and then i got two of the on um, my favorite paper bedding i thought i would use this for my christmas winter enclosure for my hamster i got two of them it was buy one get one half off um and also look at how much paper they put in there 
to make sure nothing got broken. Like literally the most packaging. Um, so good for pets more so for that. The things are in my pet room. Sorry about the bad lighting. It is dark and I need to make sure I get this video up. So first off, this is a box of Timothy Hay. It's a nine pound box for a, you'll see why um, in a upcoming video. Um, and then also same with this. Actually, I'll just tell you, I took in two rabbits. You'll meet them in an upcoming video though, um, from a bad situation. And so I had to get a lot of stuff for them. Um, so I got the Essentials Rabbit Food. I also got this Garden Select Oxbow Rabbit Food. I was originally told that they were a lot younger than they are, so I got this and um, I actually got refunded from Chewy for this and I'm gonna donate this to a small animal rescue locally because my adult rabbits will not need that. of these grass hay mats and I'll do a whole video of me setting up their pen um currently like I said this was a really last minute emergency intake so right now they're in a giant dog crate and um their pen is going to be here tomorrow and I'll do a video setting that up um, I also got this really big play ball I got a nice big Heidi like chew toy this is the baby rabbit food again I got refunded for that I'm going to donate it to an animal rescue that's local and then I got this uh chew post toy thingy i also got these baby stack cups that i'm going to give them once the pen is set up um they don't have a ton of room right now which i feel really bad but i didn't have anything to put them in um because like i said it was an emergency please please keep that in mind um and then this is the last of the stuff i got for them i got this uh, timothy hay ball chew toy some of these that I might give to my mice too because I like getting these for my mice as well. This is for a Siren hamster, not the rabbit, don't worry. Um, and then I got one of these nibble block things. And then I think I just got some more feline pine because that's what I'm going to use as their litter. And I'm going to use for my ferris litter as well. So that's everything I got for the rabbits. And then I have a rescue Syrian um, that I needed a bigger wheel for. And then I just got a ton of worms um and stuff and then i got that big pen for the rabbits um that'll come tomorrow but i'm gonna end this video here because it is almost the end of the month and i need to get this edited and uploaded so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this this month i had to buy way more than usual um because like i said i took in those rabbits which i didn't have any supplies for rabbits so i had to buy pretty much everything um and then i also took in two more syrians as rescues and I needed an extra wheel and I needed an extra bin cage. So there's just a lot of rescuing happening this week. Um, hopefully I can find good homes for all of them, but for now they're with me. Um, they're gonna be here quarantining and uh, just on watch for the next couple weeks for sure. And then I'll see if we can find a home for them. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed this haul, um, the whole month idea thing. Like I said, it was Alyssa Nicole's idea, I think. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next month with my next haul. Bye.